Empire and myself. Yes. I got to come that day. And wow, it was just a roller coaster of emotions that the entire day. Go check it out. I think we're going to be on TV on the channel. If you want to do it, you can help me end up with the TV channel. Go check that out. Absolutely. Looks like we're about to get started with this match. If you just joined us, thanks for tuning in today to my saga. Again, this is Edmund and Steve on the mic, and we're really excited to be commentating this Smash Ultimate action. This is our, 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 this is our action. Specific role. Good Three, one. Two, yes. We're gonna see the inkling one, from him here go. on game number one. Smashville is gonna be the first game. <laughs> Winning a little bit in percent damage, but oh my god, that down tilt by the ledge is so scary. Off of Pikachu, down tilt can confirm into the downer, especially with improper DI. Well, also, it combos into a couple of different a lot of them. Down air is just one of the very good options. You can also just go into up the up air into thunder. You can also be a kill control. Also, and Udomo taking a lot of damage right here, especially for V2 being one of the lighter characters in the game. Uh, he's right. definitely well past his expiration point. <laughs> and as you can see, Mr. R is fishing for these dragons because he knows that even if the dragon is mid stage, um, it's going to be like tighter put in the classroom. Just put the yeah. classroom. For sure. And actually, even that forward air is going to like kill him off stage. We saw forward air connecting to Mr. R from across the stage, sending him to really far. Percent? Definitely. Even that back air almost enough for Madonna to kill really. Oh, kill option on Pichu. No, no shortage of kill options on Pichu. And that like, 199. Oh, what is this? Yeah. He's still he past 200%. This is the lightest character. All right, all right. And of course, the back, you know, the back row is going to throw him right into the bus. We'll get him out of here. Did you see that? Excellent. Udomo answering right back to the forward tilt. Going to get that stock right off. Down to two stocks apiece. Yeah, that's right. Up throw, up throw. Up throw. Up so up there, into the back there, we're getting some loops here, lightning loops. Oh, this is so much damage. That was like all five loops in a row. Usually, I mean, you have a knockdown, you can actually FBI out of those loops. Yeah. Yeah. My, name, my name is Jonas, that's the tempo. <laughs> you know, if you play Guitar Hero, this is SDI to the tempo of my name is Jonas. <laughs> yes, dude, <laughs> Captain L made a video on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm Captain L made a video on it. Well, I mean, Mr. R is... Definitely in a bad situation. He's just going to throw him out of space. As much space as the back air from Pichu ever, I think it's very oh. difficult. That's the end of the recovery. Very unfortunate for Mr. R. Yeah, unfortunate. He's going to take a uh, dip down a stock. He's on the last night now. And uh, Mudomo, I mean, Pichu, again, incredibly light. He can't die anytime soon. But it's going to be tricky for Mr. R to actually connect with these kill options. Back air is still not quite online, but the roller is into the up smash. Mr. R coming up that stock. Very bringing us down to our last stock situation. Very smooth situation. You know, with every other roller that he's been throwing out in this game one, he had always been in the air, or, or Mujomo was in the air, so even if it did connect, he wouldn't be able to really put Mujomo in the ground to the air. For him to pick up that stock that way, it's just a... Uh, just knowing that he... In, uh, reading his okay, I like that. The jab lock with the slight walk forward to push Mr. R closer to the end of the stage. You possibly get an earlier kill. Stun lock enough damage that forward smash. Not gonna quite do the trick. But now we see Thunder Joe coming out. He's almost, you know, he's doing a more of a grounded approach. He's not really approaching with back air to forward air. Using Thunder Joe, trying to face down, looking for the options. He gets the up throw and get up there to punish the air dodge. Back here is still not going to be enough. Udomo looking really good on this stock, though. 
Mr. R setting up the flat bomb, and again with the down smash. He recreated that same situation so many times. At the moment. Such a good all-around coverage option as well. I mean, the first two times I had seen Mr. R do that, he caught the roll onto the stage. But hitting on both sides, he's able to also get that kind of attack and actually secure game number one. Yeah, it also just goes down to how he was actually with Here's a splat bomb. Pick a butt so I can I can just take this game already. Simple man, we're gonna go game number two onto Town and City, a much uh, bigger stage, a lot wider, so a lot more room to run around on the ground. Some platforms as well, they do disappear, and the blast zones are very high, so both players are gonna be able to live a little bit longer. That's especially crucial for each one. He's so already like, living past two hundred. I mean, I, I know, longer man. does he need? I know, man. They say he's the lightest character. He should die at like sixty, but I see this character living for like two hundred. Way too often. But we see a great start from Mizoma already putting Mr. R at over 100%. He's landing and using a, using a five points to get a couple extensions as well. And now Mr. R answering right back. Good cross oh. up in the. Woo! Oh, oh, dude. That match from Mizoma. Absolutely brilliant. Mr. R trying to go for that downer setup, potentially connecting into an upper. I don't think it would have killed Pichu just quite yet. And this is this is the trouble. I mean, Mudomo off to a really good start, still has a ton of damage on Mr. R taking this lead. However, he has to find the kill. Uh, and he's full hop, that. These full hop options from Mr. R are really coming in. Okay. Okay. That makes it very difficult for Mudomo to tell if he's going to be trying to the back here or if he's just going to land in front of him. But that empty hop into F smash. And across what a call out. From across the stage, man, able to secure that stock number one, Mujomo yet to take the stock, but Mr. R climbing into dangerous percentages here, 173 in fact. I will say this, oh my god, another roller, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> There's that, the uh, that roller Like, this is already yellow. That feature is especially yellow, he's, he's got full ink on yellow. Like, that is the definition of yellow. Oh, another one. Oh, yeah, the roll, the dash back into the forward smash, really smart play by Mr. R right there. Two stocks to one now. Mudomo in a dire state. And just look at the way Mr. R is approaching uh, this game number two. He's taking the lead. He has a convincing stock lead on top of Mudomo. And now he's forcing Mudomo to approach. He's really taking his time and picking at the open spot. Oh, I love that. He was connects with the up air and tosses a splat bomb in the other direction just to prevent Mudomo from even crossing him up, limiting his recovery options to the stage. Another splat bomb oh. to down smash from Mudomo. Not going to fall for it this time. He's going to get a grab. Oh, Mr. R get, able to get off the platform. See an up smash. And that's going to be game two. It doesn't matter Mr. what R. stage. It's definitely going to kill Pichu. It's such a small player. Okay, so I believe it's an all winner side since this is, that is technically top 54. Yeah. It's going to be best of five. Oh, it's sweet, dude. Excited to see it because I do want to see one more game. I, I'll say this, man. In the first game, it felt like uh, Udomo actually lost all three stocks to that red trap, right? Where, he got the where Mr. R got the splat bomb out, forced the reaction, uh, got caught rolling, and get up, uh, doing a normal stand up by the down smash. And one thing I saw in game number two is that he finally started to use the agility to get back to the stage. Agility is such a good option. It's pretty much a get off the ledge free option. So I want to see a little bit more of that. Okay, we're seeing another strong start from Udomo. Again, getting those platform extensions from Mr. R. Uh, going for those close quarter combat situations. Now we see Inkling going for a lot of jabs just because it puts so much ink on your opponent. Yes. Such a good rapid jab to have. Yeah, and of course, as you already know, Z-Fly, the ink actually adds a damage multiplier, so your hits are gonna do even more damage. When uh, whenever you're as light as Fuji, that damage multiplier oh, really that, that really hurts. Ooh, nice cross-up backer there from Mr. R. Throws out the roller once again. Mudomo not gonna fall for it. Yeah, uh, neutral air out of field. And Mr. R actually trying to use that roller as a bait. Notice he stopped right before he touched Mudomo's field. He just jumped right off. And they both actually went into the air trying to jump each other. But you see another cross up back here. Mr. R is so good at landing that. There is rolling onto the stage again. And on reaction, Mr. R with the down smash getting some quick damage. Even I like that. Using that platform to recover. Just cover his landing and forcing Mudomo off the ledge. A really smart by Mr. R there. Still, even at the set right here, hits Midomo hitting him with the backer. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit stale at this point. He didn't really send him anywhere. I mean, I 
at this point, Mr. R isn't using back air for kills. He's just using to take back air to take space for kills. Yeah. So, rebuild it instead of the back air. But an F kill from the leg or the jungle is going to take the first off. So, so incredibly strong, man. That's finally the sign of success coming from Mr. Robo uh, here. Taking that first lead in the set. That's taking a beat out the roller. Ooh, that was so scary. He's done that a couple of times, actually, which makes me believe he actually has a pretty good lead on the way this for our walks to throw out these rollers. He's challenging it with Ash. So incredibly ballsy, I have to say. Woo! North now, there are a few English in North Cal. I yeah. believe Exact. Exact. Exact is like one of the most common. Oh, yo! He F smashed his face. Mr. R tried to approach me. He said, ha, nah, son. Here's another one. Oh, this is throwing all oh, the bucket of paint onto Mujomo. And that's going to take the stock. And you see Mujomo off a of full stock. Getting the earthquake. Oh, directional air dodge. Mr. R should be able to make it back. But, uh, super jump, such an incredible uh, good recovery tool. You can even mix it up and land onto the stage and as a landing. Box, which uh, Mudomo has shown to be ready for it as well. Showing that matchup knowledge, showing that he has experience. Another forward smash. Yay. Wow, so strong. Really strong. Two stars, too. And two wins on Mudomo. The adaptation is real, and Mudomo is here to give Mr. R a fight to make it into top 32, putting one on the board. And now we have Mr. R's counterpick. Keeping himself in a, alive in the set for sure. Let's see what, what uh, Mr. R's going to do. So far, uh, Mudomo has gone back to town and city twice. That's right. Um, so it's safe to say we're not going to see that. Probably going to see a, a stage with smaller blast zones, Smashville. A smaller stage in general, so not going to be enough room for each of you to run around as we mentioned before. But it was really Mudomo who was the one that was actually like trying to stay in Mr. R's yes. stage. So taking a smaller stage should technically work in Mudomo's favor, but now we see the character yes. switch to Krom. You know that big barrier that's going to be a smaller stage is really going to go in Mr. R's favor. I mean, the fact that Mr. R didn't pick Krom right from the get-go just makes it seem like he wanted to just like play the inkling to to work on his inkling more in rapid. In general, like, you know, I feel like Pichu doesn't really like sword characters. They have that range advantage with the disjoint. And Krom just hits so hard with every part of that sword. That had that S match connected, he was a dead rat. Oh, <laughs> even dropping out the counter because he knows just how aggressive Mudomo is playing. But I think the reason that you know he doesn't start game one is because Inkling is going to be just like a very oh. well-rounded character in Ooh. general. Yes, absolutely. So you can really gauge how his opponent's going to be playing. If he's going to be playing ultra aggressive, you don't want to play a character that has like a very uh, bad recovery. Very true. And then they're, they're both smaller characters as well, so there's a bit of an even playing route in that respect. Nonetheless, the Krom really working wonders for Mr. R. He was able to get that first stock with the dash attack. That's right. He's even trying to snipe out the recovery from Mr. R. We don't have to death match, so it does get interrupted. Another double-edged dance from Mr. R. Okay, down throw into the up air. He's going to harass him a little bit more. The up air doesn't find too much success, but staying below this platform has been so good for Mr. R. And I like that after he got the down throw into up air, he immediately stayed down just to see how Ms. Mudomo was going to try and recover back to the stage. Just struck his landing and then he threw it again. Oh, he really is like, oh, okay, nice pick up with the down smash right there. Testing uh, Mr. R air dodging into the stage. Right, we're going to do another forward throw, putting Mudomo on stage. Now the ledge traps come out. you got to be careful for that F, though. It does connect below the ledge. And as, you know, a light Pikachu or a light Pikachu character, definitely going to be at Kevin's end. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's not okay. I mean, for that. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Did you see this guy's recovery? It's all right. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's, it's, it's not top tier, but it's all right. Oh, those up B out of shield, especially accompanied with the armor that uh, on top of it. Great option. Gonna land on him with that forward air. Mr. R on a very healthy second stock still. Mudomo on his winner side life right there. That's right, and there connects for Mr. R. And that upper actually beating up Thunder Joe. Ooh, a lot of good pressure, but good up B out of shield. Yeah, that's such Mr. a R. really fast option. And you kind of have to just hold that damage. The knockback is high enough that you're probably not going to get punished too hard. Unless you're a really fast character, which Pichu is, but so far. Little success from Mudomo in that department. That's right. Well, as you see, our Thunder Joe is coming out from Mudomo into a dash attack. 
down there. Oh, Ooh. two sending. These are our offsets. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, cause it, that would have actually set up for a jab lock, and yeah. it would have actually been an easy F smash. But he got the F smash anyways, and we're down to our last stock here. Oh, no. Oh, oh the shield is so small. And that's such a disrespect yeah. play. You know, and pretty play. much everyone that uh, that plays against Prom and, and Roy know that if you just charge up that neutral B, you can just do get up attack from the ledge and just interrupt it. The hit will never come out before your wake up attack from the ledge. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call it super disrespectful just oh, because it's, it's so like, it, it's, it's like, it's not bad, it's scary, especially because he can turn it around and let it go, it has very little end lag. And uh, yeah, it really just, it's a, it's a mind game on your opponent. I, I mind use, games are good. I see it more of like an information no, check. Like, you, do right. you know that you can just you check You can just this? beat it. Yeah, yeah, you can just beat it. <laughs> okay, but we see an up throw. Oh no, the, oh, miss input from Mudomo as he reel backs in his chair. Ooh, and see, that's a that's a really tricky movement option. Yes! Oh my god, Mudomo picking it up with the forward smash again, bringing us to game number five, man. He keeps putting Mr. R in these situations where a normal follow-up would be to use Thunder. Yes. And he's just not pulling the trigger. In fact, he's just waiting to see what Mr. R is going to do and then punishing him. Ba baiting out the air dodge. The button. Yeah, baiting out the air dodge, absolutely. And actually, it looked like Smashville worked to Mudomo's benefit, right? That was Mr. R's counter pick, and yet he was able to get those last two stocks on the platform in the same exact way. I think the fact that the platform was in the center there made Mr. R believe that he was going to get hit by that thunder, and yet it made it even easier for Mudomo to get the follow-up punishes because he was that much closer to Mr. Right. R already. That's right. Just Enabling more traps from Mudomo, but now we see the counter pick going back to town and city. This was Mudomo's counter pick, so he's gonna be very comfortable. And uh, big stage, maybe just allowing Prom to give a give him a little bit more room to work with here. For sure, yeah. And he's already got 60% uncontested here. Jab at the ledge. That oh my god. Okay, that, that beats out so much, dude. Jab at the ledge. Oh, it's get such up, a good get option. Up attack. It beats out jump. Like, what's, what's going on? Such a good option, especially for Prom. Woo! We see jab into Rar back air. Not enough to take the stock. Oh, but you know what, Will? That forward tilt and Mr. R without a dent in his armor right now. That's right. Great zero to death. And now Mudomo has a lot of, a, just a much bigger hill to work with. Okay. Ooh. Beautiful conversions from Mr. R right here. He's got Mudomo back at the ledge. Even getting the extension with the up air, that's so smart. We don't really see a lot of prominent boys making use of that. They really just go for the reset on the landing. But Mudomo answering right back, throwing Mr. R back down to the ground and just continuing oh, his damage. Man. Beautiful conversions also coming out from Mudomo right there, racking up the damage. He tries to hit that up special with the uh, forward smash, but just a little bit missed time from Mudomo's part. Okay, another back air, but both players whipping. You can see the thunder, the thunder Ooh. comes out! Oh man, doesn't get to connect into the strong hitbox. Surely that would have taken Mr. R's life. Okay, we see two thunders in a row. I'm sure Mr. R is counting the thunders and just making, uh, keeping track of when he's gonna be able to pull the trigger. Man, got a great tech chase read there. Uh, catching the roll out with a forward smash, sending Mudomo flying across the stage into the blast zone. Mr. R yet to lose a life. That's right. So 175%, you know, Mudomo is just looking for a back throw. He's looking for an up throw. An F tilt, F -tilt. <laughs> I mean, I think he's going to try and save F tilt for maybe a little bit later, but he's got to get to a little bit later in the game. Oh, okay. Great DI out from Mudomo. Not going to get caught by the jab to uh, Rar back air. And just look at the way of Mr. R is swinging. He's saying, you're going to try to approach me. Even if you use Thunder Jolt, my jab is going to catch it. My jab is such a good tool. What a safe up special there for Mr. R, too, with the platform to help him out. Uh, able to land there and go unpunished. And oh! there it is. Got the jab into the RAR back air because it's such a great anti-air anti tool. Yeah, absolutely. And Mudomo kept committing to aerial approaches. Damn, man. Still, what a great...